hey guys welcome to the channel i hope all is well with you thank you to everybody who has liked shared commented and subscribed to the videos i very much appreciate you if you are new here welcome if you are returning i am very grateful to have you here we're going to be taking a look at what you need to know gemini so to my gemini squad this is your reading please be reminded this may or may not resonate please do not take on any messages that are not for you leave what does not resonate for somebody else flip the roles if you need to as well it definitely can be reversed when you are watching tarot readings we're just going to go straight in with the tarot this is the light says deck spirit tell me about gemini what does gemini need to know at this time please and thank you i hope that you are feeling blessed i, feel, I hope that you are feeling loved and protected at this time by the most high and without further ado let's get into your reading gemini let's see messages for gemini what does gemini need to know tell me about gemini please the ace of pentacles The Six of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. One more. The Three of Cups. Gemini, you're about to walk into a season of celebration, I'm seeing, with the world in the reverse. You, there could be an energy here of someone specific around you wanting you to not leave or to continue something with them. There's definitely an energy of a old energy, a past energy. Um, I wanted to say past life, but that's not really what I'm getting. Past energy of somebody not wanting something to end with you or be over with you with the world in the reverse don't be tempted to go back into any cycle that was not serving you or was not for you something that wasn't helping you to grow thrive whoever i'm speaking to gemini you've got a new opportunity coming in this could be multiple opportunities there's an energy here of you moving into an energy of celebration so if you've been in a season of you know things may have been moving slow maybe you were repeating cycles okay it's time for a new beginning with the judgment cards and the fall it's like you have to choose this you have to choose this. There's an energy here of you needing to choose to move forward. And this may not be easy because you could have an energy of the past trying to keep you where you are, keep you stuck, keep you wherever it is that you've been at, whatever it is that you've been doing previous to this now at this point here. Um, there's an energy of definitely somebody trying to keep you there or it could even be yourself. But I'm definitely getting a past energy. Um, there's a blessing here for some of you it is love and money for some of you it could just be some type of contentment a lot of you it's different areas of your life for the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles to be here with the three of cups it's a season of happiness that's about to come about for you gemini a lot of you this is karmic retribution for something that you've done in the past for some of you you are being specifically gifted for being specifically kind in the past or moving with integrity or doing something in the past where it's now your time to gain it's now your time to be paid for that reimbursed if you like you're being blessed for something that you did in the past is what i'm seeing for you the chariot card yeah there's a big energy here of spirit trying to push you forward and for a lot of you you're going to find that there's a choice to stay in the past to relive something again or to continue doing something how you've done it before yeah with the two of wands thank you spirit there's a choice 
Two of Wands talks about a decision, okay? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I move now? Do I stay still, okay? You're going to be presented with a choice, yeah, with the Two of Swords. Lots of twos coming in. You're going to be very, very split on what you're doing here. I do see a lot of you have got a decision. What is this Ace of Pentacles? The Eight of Wands in the reverse and the knight of cups with the queen of swords you're going to have to have a very very strong boundary with somebody here for some of you this could be a water sign somebody's going to really try to convince you to stay whether this is a job um for a lot of you this could be romance with the knight of cups let's see with the nine of pentacles and the three of swords it's like somebody's going to hate to see you leave but it's almost like this is a opportunity of a lifetime so whatever it is that you've been doing, there's some sort of energy of you needing to leave somebody um, with the three of pentacles in the reverse because something just isn't serving. You know, maybe there's an energy here of a lack of cooperation with you and, and another person with the three of wands. There could also be too many um, cooks in the kitchen. Maybe you've dealt with a situation where there was interference as well. Somebody's going to really hate to see you step into the energy of thriving. Um, but with the nine of pentacles, it's like the path is being paved for you to um, expand, for you to step into a new energy, like it's time. And again, I repeat, there's an energy of you needing to stand very firm on business at this time with the queen of swords, air sign energy, um, kind of a, up against somebody who's going to be presenting you with a last ditch offer is what i want to say but this could be somebody who uh, i want to say it's an empty offer it's just to keep you where you are tell me about the eight of wands in the reverse the high priestess the empress and the wheel the time is now it's like with the four of pentacles somebody is really trying to hold on to you gemini a lot of you this could be specifically a pisces a water sign i'm getting strong water sign energy doesn't have to be i just get an energy of somebody really trying to um appeal to your emotions to get you to stay i feel like somebody views you as a person who is um you can do better than where you are and i feel like this person knows this and if this is romance for a lot of you, this definitely could be romance and you could be on the edge of making a choice to break up with somebody or to go in another direction or maybe move away for an opportunity, a job. Um, some of you, this could be new love. We're going to see what this Ace of Cups is specifically. I mean, with the Ace of Pentacles, we've already clarified there's there's definitely a need for you to kind of protect whatever this is. Um because you've reached a dead end you've kind of reached a ceiling with something here gemini and the time is now the universe is trying to push you into the energy of growth and expansion and um it's like you're gonna have to take the leap with the three of wands into this because something's definitely coming for you but you've got to choose it and somebody's going to be making it very very difficult for you to move away this person could maybe make you feel sorry for them or but i do feel like this is a last ditch effort because something hasn't been working for a while with the three of pentacles in the reverse and you know with the three of swords somebody's gonna hate to see you leave but it wasn't for you anyway something hasn't been working it hasn't been working it's been broken and it's time it's time tell me what the ace of cups is The Four of Swords. The Fool card. Do you stay or do you go, Gemini? The big decision. Four of Swords. Do you stay put? The Fool card. Do you jump? And from what I'm seeing here, the universe wants you to jump. Because it's going to be very, very beneficial for you with the King of Swords. There's somebody here who you need to set a boundary with. Tell me about this person that's in Gemini's energy. This water sign potentially. The Nine of Swords. Tell me about this person in Gemini's energy. The Page of Cups. 
Somebody could be codependent on your energy. There could be something that this person feels like they can't do without you as well. This definitely could be a masculine energy. This could be somebody who's younger than you or just very, um, I want to say brand new to this. Like they lack experience in some sort of way. You definitely could be a little bit more switched on than this person. You could have lived a little bit more life than this person in terms of your experience. This person worries about what they're going to do without you being there with the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be family with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody feels like without you there, you are the brains of something, Gemini. And I don't mean to stroke your ego because you've come out as this, as this very, very switched on intelligent energy. But you've also come out in an energy of you reaching a ceiling, you know, there's, 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 it's time for expansion, it's time to grow now, it's time to spread your wings, it's time to realise that wherever you've been at, you run the risk of selling yourself short, you run the risk of kind of being boxed in where you are so much bigger than the space that you're in at the moment, and it's like the universe is trying to push you into this energy of more, and there's definitely an energy here, I would say, Gemini, of um, you're too smart for something or it's like you're overqualified for something. And if this is a relationship, you, uh, there's two people in a connection. If you're with somebody and you are considering con disconnecting to go and, you know, explore what else is out there, maybe you feel like you're underwhelmed in a situation. Um, maybe you feel like, you know, you are not stimulated enough. Maybe you feel like, you know, something is missing. There's a reason why you're feeling that way. And I feel like you've just outgrown something or you're too smart for something. Like you need a new challenge. You need something bigger. You need something, I don't want to say better, but kind of, yeah. And there's an energy here also, Gemini, of this water sign. Definitely getting water sign, page of cups, knight of cups. This is a person who may, may rely on you very, very heavily. This could even be a baby's father. But it's like, whether they would admit it or not, they need you there more than what you think. It's like they feel like things are going to be at, at a standstill. How is this going to work without Gemini? Take Gemini away and the whole crap just falls apart. Like, this is this is what this person is feeling that's, that's going to happen. And they're very fearful of this happening. And they are worried that you're, you're leaving the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Yeah, you are the brains of something. You are the prize. You are the one who kind of is the driving force. You possibly wear the trousers as well. Even if you're a feminine with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like you are not going to miss out from this departure. If anything, you will be um, landing on your feet. And it's like, I don't know if somebody just hasn't been doing the work or there's an energy here of somebody just playing too small or they always relied on you to be the one who made the plans or to have a schedule or to make things run a certain way. But there's definitely an energy here of you being the table with the Ten of Pentacles and without you there with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, this person feels stunted and they're very fearful and you are not going to be at a loss. But with the moon in the reverse, I just feel like you're going to be realising how kind of reliant on you. Yeah, the page of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. You're going to realise how reliant somebody's on, somebody is on you when you're presented with this choice to go in another direction. Doesn't have to be love. This could even be a father of yours. This could be somebody who you are related to with the ten of pentacles. Um, and the Ten of Cups being here. There could be family involved here somehow. But, you know, this is definitely an energy of... Um, you're going to realise how reliant somebody is on you. Okay? You, you, you will. Yeah. Somebody's really, really stressed that you're going to go. Yeah, with the chariot fell into my lap. Could be a cancer. But what I would say is... 
don't keep yourself small for somebody else's comfort because there's an energy that is coming in for you gemini and i feel like it's a, a, a like a um, opportunity opportunity of a lifetime three of swords this person has already come out in this three of swords energy the six of wands i'm speaking to a gemini who's about to move into move into some sort of new success new opportunity that is going to be really beneficial and with the fruit of swords you've got someone here who wants to hold on to you with the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords yeah protect this with the empress this is strong divine energy whether you are a masculine or a feminine it's like i don't think you realize how much somebody re like relies on you it's kind of um it's a little bit, um, it's too much. It's like somebody could have relied on you to the point of putting their own work to the side, like feeling like they didn't have to do anything for themselves. And it's like now you're going or now this person is realizing that maybe they don't have you anymore or you're moving in another direction. It's almost like this person feels like they're losing their right arm. With the lovers. Wow. Ten of swords, the four of swords, and the ace of swords. And the world. If you if you are about to tell somebody that something is over, this person's gonna be very distraught to lose you. Very distraught. Depressed. The judgment and the seven of swords with the eight of swords. Somebody hides this from you though. Six of swords in the reverse. Somebody kind of masks how codependent they are with you being around but you've come out as a very intelligent energy especially with the high priestess the queen of swords some of you could be readers some of you could be very very intelligent very intelligent and i feel like you know this already but somebody feels like they're hiding this from you if that makes sense they don't want to be seen as this codependent, reliant energy, but they are. And I feel like you're just going to see a different side to somebody when you realize, when you dis depart or when you leave or when you speak about some sort of ending here or the fact that you're going elsewhere or you're going in another direction or you're taking another opportunity. You're really going to see that this person is going to panic. Tell me about Gemini. The two of pentacles and the king of wands. Don't overthink a decision. Seven of wands. There's something that's coming in that's going to be really, really nice for you, Gemini, that you need to stand on business with. Don't allow anybody to make you miss an opportunity, um, especially if you feel like it's, it's, it's right for you with the five of swords yeah yeah you could even have somebody trying to make some last okay so if the two of swords and the hanged one nine of wands the ace of wands so the three of pentacles already came out in the reverse and this talks about um 
not able to compromise. This talks about something not working like a dream. Dream work not working like the team works. You know, that type of energy. And it's now come out in the upright. The three of pentacles, the four of pentacles. Somebody's... You're, somebody here is about to leave. Somebody here is going to stumble upon a new opportunity. And it's going to feel like, yeah, that's what I've been looking for. That's what's been missing. And... You're going to be presented with a choice, Gemini, and I very much feel like this is you, where it's like, do I stay in this connection or this connected to whatever this is, whoever this is for, for you, um, to potentially continue to play it small, to potentially continue to have a connection or a relationship that isn't really working for me, is what you're going to be thinking, um, or do I go to this new thing where it, it, it feels like this is what's been missing? There's an opportunity for a brand new beginning here. And you're going to have somebody here who's going to make some sort of la last ditch effort to compromise, to try and make the dream work. Especially if this person was not doing what they needed to do in the past. Um, you know, somebody not doing the work, somebody not healing, somebody kind of not putting in the effort how they should on themselves. It really has an effect on how things kind of work between two people a lot of the time. And maybe this was the problem. And now somebody's going to be saying to you, Gemini here, that I'm willing to fix the problem. I'm willing to do that three of pentacles in order to hold on to you. But this is kind of like going to be sabotaging because, you know, it, it's, it's, where was this energy before? It's like, I don't know if you was with somebody who was who was low in effort or lacked effort. Um, you were definitely one person was definitely doing more than another person to kind of like one person was the driving force in the driving seat, wore the pants, and the other person just kind of coasted along. And it's come to a point where there's a crossroads, and somebody's gonna feel very, very insecure that there's now another option or there's another road that a partner is going to take or a person's going to take and um you're going to have somebody here moving in a way that that may be a little bit suspect because somebody doesn't want you to choose to leave them or go in another direction but i just don't see that this person is consciously i just don't see that this person consciously has been putting in effort to aid a situation before this point if that makes sense, Gemini. It's like, why now when this person has been presented with an opportunity, do you want to now stop this person at the door? Where was all this effort before? Somebody is very low effort or somebody just felt like they didn't need to. This is like the energy of feeling like somebody's got it. Somebody's wears the trousers. Somebody organizes everything in the home, you know, especially if you, you're part of a living situation with somebody you know you, you got it you you've got your crap together you know you 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 run a tight ship but it's organized you know it feels safe it feels to this person it feels like um they have some sort of order in their life but you were the only one bringing that so if that person isn't bringing that to the table take that away and what do you think happens to that person disarray insecurity abandonment issues start to arise and then you're going to have someone here who's going to be trying to kind of do a lot a lot of suspect things to try and keep you but they didn't do the work while they had the opportunity to if they i hope that makes sense i hope that makes sense but what I will advise you to do is if something isn't working for you and you've tried to put in the effort, which is what I see, go where you feel like that's what's been missing. Because I see a really, really nice energy. I see blessing here. I do. Sorry, my son's just opened the door. I see blessing here. I do. And to stay connected to somebody 
just because they have an abandonment issue and just because they're codependent on you isn't enough of a reason to stay. It isn't. Everybody has free will, but that's what I see. Gemini, if you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, sending you love and light. I will see you soon. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Take care. Happy Sunday.